Welcome to a new episode. In this episode, I will talk about how energy efficient an LED is. And for those of you who already know LEDs, you also know that those small light sources are really energy efficient. And uh, just to start in the beginning, let's uh, let, let's talk a bit about the sun, right? Because the sun is is the best light source we have on Earth, and that's also why we are here today. So. The sun is, um, what I mean by best light source, have the best color rendering index and have a really balanced color temperature. So it's really nice light that you have from the sun. You try with artificial light to compare and come close to that sort of good light quality and also to have the same uh, value. But let, let's move into the LED, which is the subject is all about. So LEDs is uh, invented back in, uh, in in the early 19th, and um, it was first like the first visual LED was uh, came on the market back in uh, 1968, and that was Nikoloniak uh, that at that time was uh, working for General Electric, and uh, that was a red LED, and ever since the LED has just moved up like this because the blue LED came in, uh, in, in 90, uh, 97, and then it was uh, really invented in, in, in the full range of, uh, of different uh, uh, nanometers in, uh, in 2003. And from that part and from that, from, you know, from that stage, it, uh, it just turned out to be a great uh, invention because then you could use phosphor to generate white light. And now we are in a position where LEDs is so much more energy efficient than a lot of other light sources on the market. For instance, let's take the incandescent bulb, as many of uh, us know, as a good light source. It is low band in the US and in Europe as well, but uh, it has around 10 lumens per watt. It is how much light coming out from the light bulb, and then you have the wattage, which is the power consumption. And you take these two and then you have the uh, lumens per watt. So the lumens per watt is, is reflecting how energy efficient your light source is. And as mentioned, CERN is an incandescent bulb and for fluorescent tubes, which we also know these uh, tubes that you have in the ceiling normally, it's around 80 to 100 lumens per watt. And then if we move to LEDs, then the story is that you have around 100 to 200 lumens per watt and that's the system energy uh, like the lumens per watt. And why um, I am mentioning that one is because that is the light you get out from the light source and not just the light from the LED uh, compared to the power consumption. But if you move into that stage, then you have LEDs, which is actually around 260 lumens per watt, which is the highest amount right now on the market. And then you have some labs measuring, which is around 306 lumens per watt. So 306 lumens per watt is not on the market though, but it's, it's, it's possible to have that through an LED. And that's around 4,000 Kelvin. So it's, it's not warm light, but it's pretty natural light, right? So, so it's just showing that there is a huge potential in the LEDs. So uh, I believe that within a year or two, then we are dealing with LEDs which have a potential to give you maybe 80 to 90 percent energy savings uh, where we are comparing fluorescent tubes with LEDs. And from those of you who do not know uh, how much fluorescent tubes there is out there, you can just look into an office and there is normally used fluorescent tubes and for that reason you have a huge potential to have really high energy savings. So um, it is for some good for uh, the uh, pocket. Uh, because you're not using so much money and for others it is really good for the environment because the CO2 will just go really down when you are changing to LEDs. So this is basically how it is. You will save some energy using LEDs and at the moment it is just moving up and, uh, and, and that was just a short video about that subject and I hope you liked it. Please subscribe to Normalsome YouTube channel because there will be a lot of new videos like this in the future. Thank you. Thank you.